Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do, hold on. <laughs> We're going to do a drive with me vlog again. Happy holidays. Took off my ear. I have something to say. And I don't know how it's going to be um, received, but I want to say it. So don't forget to like this video comment as the video progress subscribe to my channel because i love all the support let me know if you're currently going through the same thing so we could be officially you know friends but yeah the what i have to say that just couldn't wait till like later i have found out that how do you say this i have found out that I kind of want to talk to y'all about the support when it comes to getting the surgery, like that pre-op side, like when you're telling people and how those conversations go for anyone who is like thinking about telling, you know, close family members or friends or telling extended family members or friends. This has been my experience. This would be my suggestion. If my perception may change, but I was literally sitting like the last couple of nights thinking about like do I regret telling certain people that I was having a surgery and honestly I do why do I say I regret is because you ever told somebody something and I feel like the expectation I wasn't expecting like, okay congratulations but I feel like the whole nine degree you know list of like what's going on I've been after telling a couple of people that I know that I'm close with and not so I always say we close I'm close with everybody that I told but I feel like um the words people use and even though I'd rather you come out to say I don't you know I'd rather hear the girl I don't know if you should do that versus like the um I don't know how to do it. Like they selectively tell you like, well, if this is your choice you think that you want to make. It's like, yeah, this is the choice that I think I want to make because I already made it. <laughs> so what do you mean? I feel like before when y'all seen the video with Maxine and I, I was telling you like, okay, it don't really matter what people have to say. In all reality, I'm not going to say it, it don't matter, but does it affect you? Yes. Um, I feel like when you want support from certain people and you don't get it or like you know it's, it's not the response that you think that they're going to have it can be a little you know it, it can hurt a little bit it's like well you know what maybe I shouldn't have said something or maybe if I did bring it up it should have been brought up a different way due to COVID me telling people about me getting the surgery has been different probably from most because they can talk to people in person mine has for the most part has either been through text message or it was video chat with my family like i told you very very much emotional if y'all want to hear that story but besides people i live with everybody has been told like through text message or like a group where i just let people know like i'm having a surgery and i respect the ones that don't like cry where it's like you know like, you don't have to tell what's going on but you know most press because whenever someone tell you about a surgery of course like you don't have to disclose like what i'm having a surgery for but if someone had asked me for the most part i have told them i because of this response or just some of the things people have said i did have a recent group of friends that i am close with like we were real cool i did not disclose what i was having just because i'm like you know what i need to be more sacred with um information about me and sometimes yeah it's like okay it doesn't really matter who knows but at the same time you want to keep your inner peace like together because some it's, it's it's just like i don't know how to explain it like if someone explained it to me like have you ever went through these type of emotions give me a second i do have to get my food never back <laughs> i'm back <laughs> sorry about that brief intermission not really how I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna get, you know, look cool. But yeah, I feel like because of certain responses that I've gotten from people, it has, you know, um, kind of made me more, I guess, not mindful, but just conscious of like who I disclose the information to. Because certain people, I feel like, why do you even tell them for real? Like, 
we're even cool like that we haven't talked this is not my family so i have been like a little bit like not worried but i know my like my close cousins they probably like girl why you didn't say nothing to me and i'm be like well girl you know i decided not to because of some stuff that x x y so probably like, girl please so i'm not saying that i'm probably not gonna tell no more people but the whole idea of like putting it on facebook gives me serious anxiety only because you know when you hyped up like you know how i was hyped up in that video i was like i don't care do you boo i wish somebody would it's like when it happens especially i felt like when initially when i got that surgery date for december 8th and i didn't get the surgery you got pushed back to the 31st like i would have been if everybody was all in my business and was texting me or like reaching out to me and it didn't happen i've already been frustrated because it got you know pushed back i would have been like seriously annoyed and then some people are like well maybe this is a, like maybe this is a sign if people would have said that i would have been pissed and i don't know what i would have said to people because you know don't be reckless sometimes with her mouth and i've been trying to you know have the fruit of the spirits but you know sometimes fruit of the spirits be like fruitfully walking away from me <laughs> that's how i feel so I, I would advise if anyone has had this well you know having the surgery and you are you know thinking about telling close family members and friends i would say i would say be conscious of like how think about how will it affect me if someone has something negative to say about it? How will it affect me if I have to defend myself or have to like basically do a freaking dissertation on why I'm doing what I'm doing? And who really needs to know about you making this life change that are around you? So of course, you know, I will always say tell like the people that are going to be your support system and regardless in life, like, you know, if you are, if you have a relationship with your mom and your dad, like tell them siblings, if y'all are close, of course, the besties or the people that you confide in, they need to know. But I don't know at this time. I, it may change. At this time, I'm not an advocate of telling the world, putting it on your social media platforms. If you know that you were that you may not be mental, mentally capable to get backlash, or if no one supports you, you know, in your decision. And because I you know what, I think it's okay to say that you're gonna be vulnerable, or you know, you think that you may not be strong enough for those type of moments. Because I am truly much an emotional, like roller coaster. Okay, I'm the one that I'm watching the show. I'll be boohoo crying because I didn't got so much involved with it, and I am a person which some people think I'll be lying. I am. Um, I vibe off of the spirits of the moments and I do think that I have the discernment, okay? And so sometimes when things shift your spirit or, or shift the atmosphere, that stuff be affecting me like heavy. And I have to start being more conscious of what I tell people and have to be more conscious that it's not everybody's business to know your business. And at the same time, you still want to confide in people so, you know, you can feel like you have those outlets. But at this moment in my life, I'm being super duper mindful. Um, yes, I'm super duper emotional, especially like with someone like the, I'm going to say confrontation with people that you think that you're close with. I honestly am a believer, like everybody not going to be your friend, even though you like, I had to learn it the hard way of plenty of times that people think I'm thinking someone is my friend and then not accepting you in those moments of flawed areas but then you have to accept them in all their moments of flaws and you constantly giving yourself to them so I feel like I constantly give myself to people and it's not um I don't get that in return and sometimes it's very much draining and so at this moment I feel like the people that I told I told um the response I, really, I got so far it is what it is um if somebody wants to clap back at me, clap back at you if you like. But at this moment, I am just trying to keep my space and my energy open and free. So continue to send me all your positive energy. Thank you for the individuals that have subscribed to the channel thus far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will be back with a video. And I'll try not to keep doing these card videos. I'm going to do like, you know, kitchen videos soon coming to you from a tablet, phone, or TV near your way. Okay, peace.